It is a world of darkness. The sin of Cain has spawned the cursed horror that stalks the night in search of living blood. The kindred have long been a secret influence through all ages of human history, plotting against each other in a never-ending jihad. Their immortal progeny are among us to this day, hidden from the eyes of humanity by an elaborate masquerade.
cursed horror that stalks the night in search of living blood. The kindred have long been a secret influence through all ages of human history, plotting against each other in a never-ending jihad. Their immortal progeny are among us to this day, hidden from the eyes of humanity by an elaborate masquerade. Yo, 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 and away we go. Uh, we are back for some more Ashland by Night. And I happen to see with my uh, little eye that Party of Two happens to be in the chat. So, hello. It's been a while since we've seen you. Uh -huh. Evening. <laughs> or as we the, missed uh, you. Or as the Maven of, uh, of the Night from uh, 
uh, YouTube would say, good evening, and this is, uh, what was it? Something, something review, or something like that. She drags it out. It's kind of, kind of cute. She has a lot of vampire stuff if you're interested in that, that sort of thing. But, oh, and I have a button here I'm going to play. Uh, she also has a lot No one of... here is interested in vampires. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. But it also has a lot of smut in it. I'm actually a werewolf. They're just hooey. <laughs> right. Um... So have we? De- so a couple things. Have we decided who's doing notes for tonight? Um, so we need to get that uh, settled if you guys haven't already done that. Uh, please make sure uh, it is... Because uh, we need to make sure it goes a rotation too. We need to make sure everybody is doing it. Um, we also, who's going to do the recap for last game? Well, Abby took the notes the last time. I'm going to take notes tonight. Okay, so, so somebody, somebody want to do have to... Uh, somebody want to stand in for her and do a recap real quick. Again, it doesn't have to be point by point. We just need to get the gist. Let me uh, take a get look your at radio voice out. Oh, I, I was going to volunteer for the. Recap when somebody else wants to do it. Cool. Oh, go for oh, it. Thank you, George. Okay. You're so awesome, George. Do I start now or do we do XP first? No, go ahead and start now. We'll get XP okay. in a second. All right. Oh, Twizzler. All right. So, <laughs> okay. So, uh, it had been one week since uh, since our last session or since the, the party had last met. Uh, Damaris still, does, still can't speak English. And we were meeting at the Red Lion Inn again. Uh, let's see. We were joined by Thomas Gardner. Uh, let's see. We started talking about the concept of ley lines. Um, and if it was possible that the uh, weird time anomalies were located around those. Um, it was also floated around that the cause of this might also be a true bruja. That if this, what, if this was the case, they would be a Methuselah. And we all uh, freaked out. Uh, let's see. Uh, we were also theorizing that Roxy might be doing something that is temporally related, something about going back into the past, maybe to change events, but that is also a theory. Um, Mr. Vidya sent spies to the mountain resort. It seems to be running normally. Uh, there's a lot of construction and a lot of digging, but otherwise he didn't find anything, uh, super, super weird. Uh, but there also appears to be a private security force there. Um, uh, also, uh, George hates digital dice. That is in the notes. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so... Uh, I think that was from the superhero game. No, that was in this game, too. Because uh, oh. <laughs> I I rolled... I, I was rolling again intelligence in order to uh, see if I could get anything from the Southside Souls, like the my feelers, and I failed once again. Um but yeah, no, digital dice is wah, the, wah. the worst. And and you can't take them back to exchange them. Uh, <laughs> see, we decided to go visit a country bar so we could talk to a ghost in order to get some... Uh, uh, Mr. Yates, in order to get some information. Uh, I danced really well. Finally, I did something. Um, Sophie was talking to the ghost. Uh, also, I'm still rich. Uh, let's see. The ghost... Uh, the ghost informed us that the gas station had been moved and that uh, the gas station was a haunt for wraiths and the wraiths didn't seem to mind being moved. Uh, and that it was definitely confirming our suspicions that it was weird for a haunt to just up and move like that. Um, we also learned that the stadium is a violent haunt um, and that we're not supposed to go there or else we're going to get a ghost like from the movie Ghost. Um and that we should speak to the daughters of Crucia, uh, which Sophie has a contact, uh, Millie von Braun. Uh, but Mr. Yates offered to give us, uh, to put in a good word for us if we were to uh, liberate a fetter of, a, of another spirit that was in somebody's private coin collection. If we can do that, then Yates will vouch for us and that will give us a lot of leeway or a lot of uh, ground with the daughters of crucia in order to be able to work with them um let's see uh alice lost her job because of sophie uh i guess alice is the one who needs to fetter and we're gonna take the job let's see uh meanwhile we cut to uh damaris who is studying the ley lines uh at the occult bookstore um still doesn't speak english 
Uh, there was a gothic vampire who cl- who thinks it was a temporal backlash, and I think we kind of disproved the idea of it being uh, leyline related. Uh, let's see. Then we went to the web to ask the werewolves that they if they've also experienced anything of the uh, the time anomalies. Uh, and Noah informed us that there was a weird time distortion, and they were aware of it when two vampires came into the cairn, um, a very like spiritually important place for the Glasswalkers, and Trudy was one of them. Uh, the other was a spry, well-dressed man in, with slicked back hair, uh, <laughs> but none of us recognized him. So, uh, And then he also, he also got really hurt by their security stuff, so we were... So that kind of gave us the that kind of put us off the idea that okay it's probably not Malcolm, um, and I think I think that's about it. All right, I think so. I hope I covered it. That sounds like a good recap. Also, I hate digital dice. Yes, <laughs> you're not the only one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Brittany doesn't care for them much either. All right, uh, so let's go ahead and roll for XP. Uh, does anybody have birthdays this month? Okay. Uh, so then it's, I need somebody to roll 1d4 plus 1. Maybe we should have George do it. Oh, oh yeah. So good. <laughs> Is it okay if I roll like a physical dice? No. No? Okay, how do I roll a digital dice? We'll, we'll see how, how the game is going to go tonight. Right. Set the so, tone. All right, so, how do I roll a d4 in the roll? I think it's slash r, 1d4, plus 1. Yep, yep. Slash r, space, 1d4, plus 1. Yeah. Okay. Four. Oh, oh man, one away. Yeah. Well, I rolled That's a two, totally so good. a three. Sweet. All right. Woo-hoo. No, no horrid form for Johnny. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I really mucked it up. <laughs> no. Judy, you rolled a three out of four. Like, yeah, that's I, pretty good. Yeah, that's really I good. I can't believe it. Technically, I rolled a two out of four. Because it's plus one. No, you rolled a three because then it adds the one to get the four. Right. Oh, is that what the number four is? Oh, okay. Yeah. I was I was I was looking at the three in the parentheses and I was like, oh, I rolled a two. Mm-hmm. Nope. Rolled a three. All right. Uh so um is Sophie going to be the plain Jane again and have us all meet at the Red Lion? Sophie's never a plain Jane, but yes, let's meet at the Red Lion. <laughs> all right. You offend me, sir. <laughs> oh, oh no. Uh-oh, she's going to pull out the metal gauntlet and slap me. <laughs> a very beautifully worked metal gauntlet. Yes, there you right. go, right. Jewel encrusted. I challenge you, sir. Grave. <laughs> I accept. Oh. All right. All right. Shiny. Uh, uh, Robin Hood men in tights. All Sorry. right. With the gauntlet. Yeah. yeah. Yep. With the gauntlet. All right. So uh, then Sophie once again has put out a text. Uh, let's get everybody together. Let's find out you know, where we're at, who knows what, and what we're going to do. Uh, back at everybody's favorite spot. The Red Lion Inn. We haven't burned this one down yet, so that must be why Fingers you're meeting crossed. here so much. You're you're yet. trying for that. For the reason to send of a, our beauty. On reason to send a text out like almost immediately as soon as the uh, the text comes out, um, and it's going to be like uh, greetings and salutations. I apologize for my absence. Uh, this damn technology. It's legendary. How everything breaks in my hands. Um, My last cell phone was destroyed, uh, thanks to Miss Harper, who I hope to see there this evening. Um, I was able to get a new device. It's it's uh, more durable. It's more uh, it's it has a a better. Well, you'll see my new my my new cellular device when I bring it. 
Um, I graciously accept your, your invitation and I will be there shortly. So people send a thumbs up. <laughs> oh no! Yeah. <laughs> Is it bad that I, I want to I wanted to mess with them? <laughs> want to text them warning: your message could not be delivered. You have, you must purchase you must purchase <laughs> digital stamps. <laughs> you must you must purchase last, Dogecoin. Yeah. The last, sure. thing, the last thing that's on there would be: I hope nothing of any import has happened happened in my absence. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. George is a prankster. I don't think Remus would be. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, so, so, all, coming. so the message has gone out to everybody to let everybody know uh, that where the, the meeting time is going to be, or, you know, uh, what the meeting time is, where the meeting is at. I will let you guys take it away from there and introduce yourselves. It, it is uh, in the same smaller room that you guys met in before. And there's usually just a guy kind of posted out front, just <laughs> Waving people in as needed. Yeah, Danny will arrive without Ben. <gasps> she will arrive by herself. <coughs> La gasp. La gasp. Drama. <laughs> when we will show up pretty closely, and probably like right after Danny gets there, and um, like, oh, Danny, it's good to see you. I, uh, where, where is everyone? I don't know. I just got here. What, it, it is good to see you. And, and Benjamin, is he uh, is, uh, is the parking the car or something? Uh, I don't know. All right. Oh. Well, I'm, I'm not his keeper. Uh, he's, he is supposed to be yours. It is true. So I, I'm going to come sit over here. Yeah, she'll just go find a seat, plop down, put her feet up in another chair, and Wait for everyone else to arrive. Oh, yeah, she'll yes. shove a piece of that nasty nicotine gum in her mouth. Blah. Blah. I think yes, Johnny will. will... Oh, oh tum, 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 tum. Uh, John, John, Johnny will also arrive, and uh, he'll. You know, when he sees uh, Henri and Danny, he'll like say, hey, guys, what's going on? And, uh, Bonjour, take, you know, take a seat somewhere. Yeah, when Sophie gets there, she'll um, pat his shoulder um, gingerly and uh, <clears throat> say, "Hey, Henri, how how are you doing?" I'm fantastic. I have been working with uh, Arbor. Um, she has the uh, these uh, these these uh, Johnny thingies. Uh, they fly around in there, and so we were uh, investigating. And uh, she is, it, she, her we use of technology is it's it's magic, but it's also is magic the way she does the uh, keyboard tic tac. Um, she is oh, oh my new cell phone. It is it, uh, it's she said it's not cellular phone. She, it's better to say cell phone. So my new cell phone. Uh, I'm very proud of it. It's it's uh, it's bigger, but it's. Uh, it, it will be, it will last more. Um, is it, what kind of a cell phone is it? It's an Android. Out of, out of character. It's an <laughs> what was, what did you have before? Um, I had a cheaper model of something or other. So like the oh, one okay. I have now has a, um, it's almost military grade um, case Ooh. on there. Um, and it's just, it's, it's not waterproof, but it's highly water resistant. Oh. So Sophie will be like, wow, is that a, you got an otter box on there too? That should be handy. Well, it's, it's well, that's one, it, it's, I dropped it in the sewer and the, 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 the screen was, uh, it was, it was so shut that it looked like a spider web. It's so, mm. um, yes, that's a common problem. Well, good. Has okay, everything been all right at least in my absence? I I, I, I assume I have, I have not received your uh, uh, textual messages uh, because between the phones. Um, you know some some stuff has happened. Um, nothing too serious. I don't nothing. know. We'll we'll see. We'll. Uh, 
We'll give a recap once everybody else has arrived. All right. Nothing too serious. It's a good thing when it comes to vampires. So I think Remus will come in at this point. Fashionably late, but fashionable. Remus. Hello, Henri. Long time no see. Think it's only been a few, a few days or weeks or I don't know. It's it's they all mesh together after time, I guess. Yeah, it's always worrisome when I don't see you like often enough. How you have you been? I've I've been okay. I've been working with Zeratis. Um, oh, and I have my new cell phone. I texted it inside the uh, the text message that I sent earlier. This is my new cell phone. I'm very proud of this. Um, awesome. Up there, sh she showed me how to order it on uh, on the the uh, the internet. I, uh, I I went to the internet store um, and ordered it there. Hmm. Good to hear. Hopefully, this one will. There's a website called the Internet Store. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna look that up right now. Right now, Re Remus is thinking if you should like warn Henri about like internet scams. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Henri, if if you get a if you get a message from somebody claiming to be the president of a, another country just looking for money, uh, don't uh, don't answer it. Well, I. I... If I do not know the person that is uh, sending me a text message, I, I do not respond. Uh, okay, good. I, it's, I, I, it's just easier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. Because uh, yeah, we, we don't we don't want you to get scammed. <clears throat> I, I I will I will try not to get scammed. <laughs> At this point, uh, Ben will arrive. Benjamin. Hello, Ben. What's up, everybody? Everybody, quickly, not to interrupt, say hi to uh, uh, to Tr uh, Trisha's player. She's in the chat. Hey, hi, Trisha's hey. player. Hey. Hello. Bonjour. Haley said, "Hey, my beautiful hey, vampires." So, <laughs> welcome. Sorry to interrupt. Go ahead, Ben. We miss you. We miss you. We miss you. <laughs> yeah, where you at? <laughs> so is uh, this everybody just thinking that we're few in number tonight no Damaris or Arper uh, you know I think Damaris might be working on something personal <clears throat> she's having a bit of an issue right now um, is she still speaking Gaelic? I, I haven't heard any updates, so I'm thinking that might be... Yeah. Oh, that was like an actual language? She was, it wasn't just like random verbally good? That was a re real language then, huh? Okay. I mean... I, I guess? I mean, it sounded kind of, you know, Celtic to me, but... Uh... Not really my wheelhouse. I, I missed out on that. And is uh, this uh, this Thomas that that, that came to the uh, the party, the soiree? Was is he going to be coming to the meetings? Uh, he he's invited. Um, I suppose he's probably got his own things going on. His own agenda. I mean, if my sire were in town, I would probably have a lot of things to do too. If my sire were in tower, there'd be a lot more death. Let's uh, count our lucky stars. Okay. Okay, well, um, <clears throat> I suppose we ought to do some kind of a recap. Um, Henri, you, you've been keeping your nose to the grindstone lately, right? You, you haven't really gone outside a whole lot. Uh, no, we we went to the uh, the uh, the Walmart, I think it was, uh, and we went to the we went to that that uh, the the property Arthur and I did with uh, was the Drunnies, um, and it, 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 
flew them around and did not see anything. But that's that's all I have done. I've, I've spent quite a bit of time within my own uh, haven. Okay, so you probably wouldn't have noticed anything strange around town. Is strange um, in what way? Uh, yeah, so uh, <clears throat> we've come to be aware that there are certain um, locations around the city that are not there anymore or are somewhere else. And um, we've been investigating some kind of a time issue. Um, out of character, Jerome, um, how long has it been since the events in the Discord chat? Uh, Is it like the next night? That took place last uh, last night, yeah. I'm guessing that Trudy hasn't really had a chance to call Sophie and explain this yet. I don't know. Has Trudy had a chance to call? I think she was busy. busy? <laughs> Okay, there you go. Yeah, so. Okay, so at this point, Sophie may not actually know uh, about the event. Sorry, Ben. <laughs> okay, no, that's that's fine. <laughs> I knew I was going <laughs> to I was going to try and spare you that, but um, no. yeah, sorry. <laughs> well, yeah, actually, as far as the whole time shenanigan thing, um, I think we've got it figured out as far as why kind of that was happening um did you tie it back to roxy no no doesn't seem to be roxy actually uh you heard about uh trudy just kind of appearing with another guy in a spot or the uh web right werewolves. that's what that's what noah told us the other night yeah yeah so actually has to do with something she's been going through uh, Danny and I actually took a trip over there last night to her compound to see what was up because we heard about that and it's weird and complicated so I'm going to give you the bullet points because it the weird back to the future stuff it's complicated you know uh, so she apparently knows a time sorcerer person a chrono Chronomancer? Yeah, Chronomancer. Okay. Um, Weren't we who trying she's... to track down one of those? She apparently already knows one. But okay. uh, this this <clears throat> person doesn't, like, mess with time. They can apparently look into the future, look into the past, I guess, and feel time or something. I, I don't know how that's supposed to work, but point is, uh, at one point, Recently, in the past few nights, she had this weird uh, sighting of this guy that she knew, like, long, long time ago, who she thought was killed. He was just suddenly there. They were walking around the place trying to figure out what was going on. It was this strange, like, trance or something, and then... She and him got pulled out of wherever they were by Noah, because uh, apparently they were at that weird special sacred werewolf spot or something. And um, yeah, apparently that all then led to Trudy going to a sedite that she knew from somewhere or didn't know because... There have been some sort of time thing happening there. Anyway, long story short, uh, this said I somehow had this doodad that she had from a long time ago in Houston. That Hugo, that jerk from Midnight Augury, had gotten a hold of. But now this said I'd had it. It had something to do with the time stuff going on. He hands that thing to her and then he vanishes. The Sedite dude vanishes. And so now Trudy has this uh, time stone thing from her past. And her chronomancer person says that that has returned things to normal. I don't know how that's 
right? But anyway, it comes down to this weird stone, and she's thinking that Hugo has something to do with it, too, because he had a hold of that thing for a while. So she's going to have her times for her to take a look at the thing and then get back to us. Um, that Hugo guy comes up quite a bit, doesn't he? Um, she has some kind of a thing about him, right? Am I remembering that right? He is apparently the guy who murdered her son years ago. Oh, so this is a a whole thing. Oh, yeah. Um, she also checked to see if the studio went back to be under construction. Stadium? It, it's not. Yeah, the stadium. It's not. It's finished. It didn't affect. Okay, so. That stuff. That's not normal still. I don't. Okay. Um, you see, that's that's what I said too, but it's like, does that mean what's happening now is normal and we've been experiencing wrong time or something? I don't know how this is supposed to work, but it all ties to what Trudy just went with. So we, we know it's not a Roxy okay. thing. It's something having to do with the doodad that she's got a hold of right now. Oh, well, that's a relief. <laughs> uh, Johnny's going to raise his hand and be like, uh, who is Hugo for the new kids in the class? Hugo and, well and right when he asks, there's a knock at the door. <gasps> Hugo. Uh, oh. I hope John, not. <laughs> Johnny, Johnny will get up and get it. That would Okay, suck. so... <laughs> You jump up, you open up the uh, the door. Uh, there is a man standing there uh, in uh, what would be priestly attire, uh, including oh. the the firm collar uh, with the you know, little white in between, <clears throat> much like you would see uh, Catholics, uh, uh, Roman Catholics might wear, who are actually you know in the service of God. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, he has he has a bit of a, a, a like a satchel kind of thrown around his. Um, shoulder and and comes down do do any of us know him no no he doesn't look familiar. <clears throat> he doesn't look familiar at all mm -mm. uh well evening padre what's uh how can i help you on reason to jump out of his chair um and like just back up towards the back of the wall like not like like terrified but definitely freaking out yeah, Don, Danny's going to sign of the cross. Do that, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, she's very religious. <laughs> has, okay. Has Henri uh, disappeared at all? No, he's no, just, he's, he's okay. <laughs> no, he, he just jumped up, alarm, alarmed out of his chair. Yeah, I don't, I don't. Henri doesn't know how. He just knows that this is this looks like a real priest, and <laughs> so um, doesn't sit well. Yeah, his him. hair is short, well trimmed, uh, black. Looks like he's probably middle aged at, at some point. Little, little on the pale side. <clears throat> and he I'm says, uh, "Dominate." Yeah, he says, uh, uh, "Well, hello there, good sir. I was uh, hoping that I made the meeting tonight. I was told that uh, our kind seemed to meet here on the regular." Oh, okay. Uh, you must be new in town. Please come on in, and he'll like step to the side and. In a, in a manner of speaking, and thank you. Yeah. So he just Usher. politely steps in. Our kind, sir. Uh, your your name? Um... Oh, oh, my name. I do apologize. I should have announced myself when I <laughs> entered. I, I am sometimes taken back at the different customs that uh, anarchs might share amongst one another. But I am the Reverend Elias Turner. Pleasure to meet you. My name's Johnny. Baron, this is the Reverend Elias Turner. And if you don't mind, if you could explain our kind. <clears throat> so he kind of looks around a second and he says, well, I do apologize, good sir, but uh, you do seem a bit pale in complexion and matching a certain, uh, how, how should we say, appearance deficiencies that would align itself to being a Nosferatu. Uh, so I believe we are referring to ourselves as kindred here this evening. 
If we are going to use these words, then I guess I would ask what clan you are. Oh, uh, I was never gifted uh, a clan. Uh, we are called clanless, these gnats. Hmm. He kind of spits under his breath, Kadif, as he goes back and sits back down. <laughs> oh! Um, jo- Sophie is going to... Oh, go ahead. Yeah, Johnny's just thinking to himself, oh, he's a pander. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, Sophie is going to use aura perception. Okay. <clears throat> you know the role. Yeah. We, we're starting gonna, to use it a lot now, thankfully. Danny's going to ask him what faith. So he kind of looks at, at his uh, attire for a moment. He says, oh, well, I suppose that's a fair enough question, given the fact that uh, there are some various offshoots. Uh, but no, I am Roman Catholic. A oh, okay. Because normally they don't call themselves reverends. Mm. Okay. In in my day, well, we did. Welcome, <coughs> Padre. Three successes. Okay. He has the pale complexion of uh, that of a vampire. You do not what sense any dishonesty either. Does he have a, any? Notable disposition. Uh, outside of being calm, no. Okay. Uh, Sophie will um, stand and um, offer her hand to shake. <clears throat> okay. So he politely shakes your hand as well. Um. Welcome. Uh, can uh. Reverend, can you? Um, where do you? Uh, are you are you just visiting Ashland? I, I am. Yes, I am passing through and spreading God's <clears throat> word. It's going to be a difficult undertaking in our present condition. Uh, not not quite as one might seem. It does cross certain boundaries, but. Uh, I have yet to meet a congregation uh, that has not received me. It's very interesting. Um, can you tell us from from whence you came? Uh, well, I have taken a tour of the South uh, uh, for quite a bit. Uh, I did do uh, a little bit of preaching here uh, many, many moons ago here within uh, in and around Ashland proper. It was called Ashland Mills back in those days. Well, you've been around quite a while then. Fair to Midland. All right. So is that what you do then, Reverend? You just go from place to place just spreading the good word? Is there any other business to be done? In our town, there's always some sort of business to be done. Actually, you arrive at a weird time. Well, if I did hear correctly, I believe the young man here uh, was uh, asking a question. So uh, perhaps I might sit in and listen in. If if you all don't mind, of course. Suppose you're welcome. Um, <clears throat> Remus is going to look at Sophie like, okay. <laughs> so, um, Reverend, you you can do communion and like hear sins and stuff. Uh, well, that's not exactly how it goes. I don't okay. literally hear sins, but if you are needing of a confession, that is something I can assist with. Yes. Ooh, okay. Maybe, maybe after this meeting. Oh, well, of course. I'd be happy to carve out some time for you. Um, do we have any other business besides the topic we just covered? <clears throat> I 
That's a good question. Anybody got any other info on Roxy? I mean, it sounds like we can kind of focus on her until I get word back from Trudy about her thing. Uh, Jerome, can I like can I can I roll something to see if I know who this Elias Turner guy is? Like, is he somebody that like Benedict might have heard of? Uh, checking your Diablery Rolodex of information. That's what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. Because you can't, you can't, you know, pause and phone a friend anymore. Yeah, I miss that miming. <laughs> Hold it, please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, sure. Why don't you give me? Um, let's see. Uh, do you have kindred lore? Um, I have uh, Camarilla lore. Hmm. Oh. Uh. Why don't you roll Intelligence and Camarilla Lore, difficulty 8. Okay. Thirteen successes, let's go! Oh, oh boy, a failure. Dong, dong, dong. This digital dice brought to you by Sadness. He's Benedict's best friend. <laughs> Failure. What the? Failure. I rolled, I I rolled a nine two. and an eight and two ones. Oh. Okay, so uh, you did get some successes, but you got some ones. Right. So it's just a failure. It's not a botch thing. So, well, yeah, you're coming up blank. Wow. Oh, would you rather have that one? Because, you know, I, I, I gave you uh, St uh, Stephen He's failure. Oh, I, I didn't. <laughs> failure. Yeah. Uh, I, don't, I, don't have the I don't have the Twitch open. No, that's fine. I'll play that one too. <laughs> Haley's in the chat, so I'm sure she'll enjoy it. Nice. Anyways, please continue. Out, out of character, Todd, and yeah. um, and um, Davy. This yes. would be a good time to bring up what we were talking about before the game started. Well, I wouldn't bring up new, old business with this new guy in the room. Uh, <clears throat> so Johnny will kind of like, you know, kind of like move over, kind of like to to Danny, and it's like, what what's up with you and Ben? <laughs> She's gonna kind of look at him weird. What you two were like buddy buddies, and now you guys are like ice cold. What's going on? There's nothing going on. Spill the tea. Yeah, spill the tea. Suelta la sopa. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I'll tell you something. Mind your own beeswax. <laughs> uh, emotional um, damage. I'm going to turn to uh, Elias just because I don't, because I don't know this guy. I don't know if I feel comfortable just kind of talking about Roxy in front of him. I'm going to just kind of turn to Elias and say, uh, um, you know, I think it would be, it would be rude for us to conduct business when we have a guest here. Elias, is there anything that we can help you with? Uh, I know you said you're passing through preaching the good word, but um uh, do you require assistance? Now, as of this point, no, but uh, thank you very much for uh, your kind words. <clears throat> so, uh, are you here just to observe, or <laughs> did you have any particular business that has brought you here tonight? Uh, you mean outside of the aforementioned spreading of God's word? Yes. Uh, and I, I guess now would be a bad time to let all y'all know that uh, the Anarch Free Press has indicated this is the meeting spot. So since I was in town, I am an Anarch, ergo, I uh, decided to attend. Fine by us. Hey, well, you know, the more the merrier. We It, it we, would we seem think... everyone clammed up upon my entrance, so... I could leave if, if all y'all needed me to do so. 
Well, we just weren't expecting any new faces tonight, so um, you'll excuse our rudeness. Um, More specifically, a priest. Uh, what's what's wrong with him being a priest? The priest uh, is, is a holy individual that that uh, speak against the evil, and most see our kind as evil. I, I do not see a. In my experience, uh, a priest vampire is um, it's like anathema. It it does not. I did not, and especially if he is spreading the good word of of God. I do not how I do not have to see how this works. Uh, I, I, so, once we become a kindred, we no longer can believe in God. You can believe in whatever you want to believe in, but it's a uh, 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 Christianity uh, doesn't normally tie into is a vampire system. You, what if you start if you start talking to people about how we are the children of Cain? Um, especially as a, the Christians, especially as the Catholics, uh, it's going to be a, a bit of a, a rough go ahead at, per se. I, I, I have to, uh, a lot, Reverend, if you don't mind, um, I am curious how this, this, this lifestyle has fared for you. Um, and like Remus will kind of like dig underneath his collar and he'll kind of fish out a little. A uh, silver cross that's kind of beat up, but uh, he'll mm -hmm. he'll say, uh, um, "I, I like like Henri has said, I've found the idea of being religious and being what we are conflicting at times. But you know, you sound like you've gone, you've walked this road for quite a while. Perhaps you could." You'd be willing to lend me so or lend us some insight on this road that you've that this path that you're that you're traveling he says uh, i would be happy to uh speak on that uh, i do not wish to derail your soiree here as of this point but thank you for the sub todd you got it uh, he says uh, <laughs> but if i if i may keep it short uh it would be almost heresy to say that uh, the curse of Cain was greater than God's love. It, well, so and I have to agree with that. And, you know, she, and, and just out of character, she has the Ava Maria medallion on. Okay. She's had it since you guys met her. Yeah. And a, a cross. So she's had that since you guys have met her. Hey, we're cross buddies. Yes, we are for buddies. We were on opposite mounds. When I, we were, I mean, when we were I, I, I'm going. I'm oh. going to admit that I, I was surprised to see a, a, a priest as a kindred. But I guess in this society, there's going to be people from all walks of life. It would be, I guess, ignorant to think that there wouldn't be. Well, there, there, there are. Uh, um, if you will beg my indulgence a question you seem uh hesitant and unsure um have you seen many uh sunsets uh, not in a couple centuries I'm, <laughs> well i'm i'm new to the job that's a fair way of putting it then uh back in the day even before my day it was not uncommon for uh well, we called ourselves Canites back then, but it was not uh, improbable to find Canites amongst the clergy. In fact, many of the, many of La Sombra made a, a, almost a straight living doing it. Sombra, really? La Sombra. Hmm. So, I honestly i'm not i i'm not that surprised to see a uh one of our kind as a priest but i i think i am surprised to find one who takes the teachings very seriously i just assume that you know no no it just seems like it would be a really great way of masking your hunting or developing a herd to 
oh, take advantage of. of you the are faith, not but... incorrect, sir. Uh, have you heard of Benny Hen? Benny Hen. If you haven't, uh, there it's through no fault of your own. But he's a yeah, he's a televangelist. I've heard of him. Oh, uh, uh, you can you can ponder a guess as to which clan he probably is. Raid, raid! Thank you, table horrors. Nice. Hello, Noskibian. Party pal. <laughs> Welcome to the party, pal. <laughs> he says, "But you are you are not uh, you are not wrong uh, in that assumption. Uh, many would find it perhaps easier to control uh, smaller crowds, uh, but many of our disciplines of the blood <laughs> would allow for such manipulation rather easily." The only priests or religious that I have encountered are, are, is what uh, Remus is referring to, the ones that are... Uh, it, it seems as though you have the faith, you have a belief that is true, but I, uh, all the others, it has just been a mask that they wear in order to... Uh, um, for uh, an end to the means, per se. That's fair. Judge not, lest ye be judged yourself. Uh, do not do not die unless you are attacked. I don't why I don't know how to respond to that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what, Reverend, good for you for keeping the faith. Were you were you like that before you uh, were embraced? I was, I was. Gotcha. How 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 do you how how do you reconcile what we need to that what we do and the 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 teachings? Like, don't you feel like there's a conflict in in them at times? I I try to maintain the rules as best I can, but you have to admit it gets difficult in this line of life. Uh, it, it can, uh, it most certainly can, especially when dealing with the beat, the inner beast, and trying to resolve some of those things that might stoke the inner fire uh, inappropriately. Uh, we tend to be more passionate uh, than uh, many mortal ilk that we might know. But God does not give us more than we can handle, my son. This has been this, this has been interest pleasantly interesting. <laughs> I, I did hear uh, some sort of rumor uh, 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 on the forums uh, about uh, an incident report and some sort of joke going around that uh, there are many incidents here within uh, Ashland from time to time. Uh, so I, I am happy to dispel some of that for you. Unless, of course, you are offended by a man in the cloth, then uh, I suppose you could put that tally back to zero? No, I think uh, we'll, we'll have to erect a new board that says it's been this many days since a good thing happened in Ashland. <laughs> I mean, we have good things happen, too. You do? Um, sure. Um, I did hear good things about that soiree you did throw here recently there was uh, apparently a, a, a quite a bit what to do on the on the boards about that uh, it was uh the Toreador it was thing, quite, am i not mistaken it was quite memorable it was and indeed. nobody died which is a success in my book unless of course the soiree was you know cover for you know getting rid of somebody but you know, uh, we haven't done one of those in quite a while. Um, well, uh, 
we, I suppose we could talk about the uh, <clears throat> assignment that we got last time. Perfect. To help out um, Mr. Yates, friend. Um, do you think that's still worth giving a try? I mean, oh, yeah. I kind of owe Alice for this one, but um, if you want to help me out with it, I would be more than happy about that. Is that the ghost thing I was hearing about? Yeah. Yeah, so... Uh, Did Mr. Yates ever come back with any info? Actually, I we were waiting on that, weren't we? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, we need I, like location, time, dates, things like that. Jerome, location, would location. I have um would I have a message from Mr. Yates? Uh what's he was supposed to Oh, we're trying to see if that was gonna be uh, okay to intrude upon yes, you would have gotten that okay. Um, basically okay, what so she, I remember that basically what he was doing is he was speaking kind of ahead yeah, of himself he was, and wanted he was to make sure, ask her yeah wanted to make sure it was okay by yeah. her um so we need to know who has the uh thingy uh, he would have told he would have told you then through the grapevine the uh, the uh um address on the other side that you could go to Um, did he tell us what it is that we're looking for? A coin. It's a coin. Because it's, it, it's in some uh, coin it's in collection. It's in a coin collection. It is mm -hmm. in a coin collection. And that the person who owns it is... A bad oh. person? Yeah. Oh, we, oh, just had, bad. we just had the address? <laughs> yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Um. Let's Google the address and see if we can figure out who it belongs to. Maybe ben, uh, maybe Harper, could, maybe Har ben Harper? Could... Harper, are you here? Harper? <laughs> Harper is not here. Uh, oh, no. Well, I'm sure Ben or Danny could do it. Danny, oh, yeah. Danny, do yeah, you do the Google? Yeah. <laughs> what information the... we got? Um, I have an address. If we could figure out who owns this, then we'll know better what we're dealing with. English, um, motherfucker, do you speak it? Okay. He'll uh, he'll he'll write that down, and then he'll uh, he'll send a text to um, <clears throat> his uh, one of his ghouls, Detective Rumbus, mm -hmm. uh, asking if he knows uh, what's up at this address. Okay. Uh, so he sends a text back. Uh, you'll have to give him about thirty minutes or so while he. Gets back into the "quote unquote" office and goes to check that. Okay. He's on lunch break. <laughs> well, dinner break probably. Oh, I guess he works like yeah, great great shift. Shift. hours. Yeah, yeah. yeah so Ben's that. like, eh, it'll take him like about half an hour. Um... Yeah. Did I um? Did I ever tell you how I met Mr. Gates? Uh, I don't think so. I do not recall. It was a <clears throat> it was a really interesting night. Um, basically, what happened was back when. Um, the ATF blew up that building downtown. Um, that was the night that Colin also decided to uh, work a spell that took out the hive of um, what are they called? Not wraiths, the, the bad kind of wraiths. Oh, you're referring to specters. Specters, thank you. Um, that was that was taken up residence at the uh, abandoned mental hospital outside of town, and um, the spell involved him um, sacrificing himself 
And so he went missing, uh, or it seemed like he had died or physically traveled into the Shadowlands. That's the, uh, the plane where wraiths exist. Right. Kind of separate from this plane, but like a, kind of attached to it. And um, I decided to try and get him out. And so I, I worked with the Giovanni to try and figure out how to do that. And um, I went in after him. And so, um, yeah, uh, I don't ever want to do that again. <laughs> it was awful. <laughs> it was awful. It was like uh, being in a, a weird, like dark, cartoony kind of version of this world but like everyone sees you and can tell that you don't belong there and uh some of them are um i mean they're not allowed to talk to you they're not allowed to interact with you some of them are downright um aggressive and um there's a lot of running and hiding and um trusting the wrong people and almost getting caught. And uh, Mr. Yates was actually the person that told me um, how to get to the place where he was being held captive. So, uh, oh, and I met uh, Vinny. Mm. If you remember Vinny, the, the Giovanni's Wraith, he's a, right. a lot shorter than I expected. Sweet guy, though. Uh, he helped me out quite a bit. So um, I went into the um, the guild where he was being held and had to kind of sneak my way in and maybe use a couple of people um, as shields to get through their security. And that's how I met Alice and how she lost her job. She was the front desk person there. And um, yeah, I kind of, uh, I'm, I feel bad about that, but ultimately uh, I was able to get in and find where they were holding Colin and then um, pull him out and then bring him with me. So. Uh, wait, so when you, you, so Alice was working at this ghost security place? She, it, um, she, you know the cannery downtown? Uh, sure. Um, that building where we sometimes meet that Trudy owns? <clears throat> yes, yes, yes. Um, that's actually where it was, and it's a, uh, it's kind of a hot spot. Um, I think I remember that the, it was having some haunting issues originally when she bought it. Um, I seem to remember hearing stories about that. Um, Why would we ever meet there if you if you had a weird if that used to be your husband's ghost prison? I mean, I think she got the problem taken care of. And anyway, it's not like. It looks different. It's it's different here than it was over there. But that was the location where the this particular guild had set up, and they um, they had their own security. And they're like, man, you they do bad stuff to each other uh, if they if they catch you. So, um, anyway. So was Alice ever alive or was this, was, is she a, yeah, was she, she a ghost when you knew her? Like, no, she was a, yeah, she was a ghost when I knew her. Oh, okay. Everybody there is, everybody there is a ghost. 
Okay, I w- like because you keep calling. You kept saying persons and people, so I wasn't sure oh. if there were people yeah. that live in this well, place too. Wraiths. They're <laughs> they're they used to be people. <laughs> now they're ghosts. Right. Well, they used to be physical people. They still technically are people. Right. Ghosts are people. They too. just have not ghosts officially passed too. on yet. Exactly. <laughs> That's a great bumper sticker. Ghosts are people. Ghosts are people too. Ghosts are people too. It's crazy. And zombie rights. I I, I just wanted to be clear because from the way that it was discussed previously, it sounded more like you were responsible for Alice's death. But it sounds. Oh no. Okay. It's a, a little less gruesome well, than that. But she, I mean, she could have more than lost her job. She could have been made into furniture, which is something that, I mean, they they take souls and imbue objects with souls. Like they make stuff out of people. So it is not like cursing an object. It is actually like 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 clay to them. That's what it sounded like. It's it's kind, pretty kind, kind of like the Zemisi, except uh, it's a it's a permanent form of death. Seems so like we, you know a lot about that type of thing, Reverend. I've run into them a fair bit in my travels. We have a whole a whole theology lesson this evening. It's crazy. <laughs> How does the Shadowlands work into your theology, Reverend? Well, you have to understand there is the theology that which is preached to the mortals, which is not uh, unakin to the factual life that we know when our eyes are open and we become canines. It's not as if Cain's word were written alongside the rest of the Gospels, uh, according to Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, or, or found anywhere in the Old Testament, but it is no less authentic. Hmm. Can I ask how old you are? I'm old enough. So let me ask you then, Reverend, uh, Cain, you know, like, do you think that is really where we all come from? I know that's like the, the story, but a lot of, right. The, uh, the, the, the Camry of propaganda. No, Cain is very much a real individual. Huh? That much the Sabbat did get right. Have you met him? Uh, he's a lot like Elvis. A lot of impersonators, a lot of people claiming to see him. If Kane were to arise again, it would be, uh, we would all know <laughs> that it would not that be. That is uh, correct, yes. And not an incidental amount. <laughs> all right. Hmm. Uh, in, in many ways, you could t- you could see the Camarilla and the Sabbat in, in, in a. a in a certain sort of, uh, uh, from a certain point of view, uh, uh, much like the uh, Reformation of Martin Luther, just in a highly more radicalized, bloody version. Well, I, I have a, another question. Oh my, we're all full of questions tonight for the uh, the Reverend. I, again, I do apologize for derailing your meeting, uh, Baron Sophie. <laughs> Well, it, it just kind of popped in my head when, when Henri said that. Um, so this rise of Cain would, because we were raised to believe in the resurrection, if you guys believe in the, the resurrection of Cain, How's that? I mean, how's that collate? They're they are not. Uh, um, 
the second coming of Christ and the rise of Cain are are not two things that are separate from or that are uh, not separate uh, uh, but equal in a manner of speaking. Now, now you're getting into the eschatology of of, of kindred lore or Cainite lore, as some might uh, know it as. So are are they the same thing? I mean, are, are no, they, they actually that? are not the same thing. They are completely separate. Which one happens first? Well, if you follow the mythology behind it all, uh, Cain's rising should be that's what happens first. You can't exactly have the rise of Cain and uh, uh, after the the second coming of Christ. Right. Hmm. Right. I guess the second coming is supposed to be like the end kind of a thing, right? Correct. So I guess that makes sense. There isn't any direct parallel to him being the, the Antichrist, for example, which is why I personally believe that uh, Cain himself would come in a different form. He would not masquerade as somebody for Christ or attempting to uh, <clears throat> uh, sway the masses in that way. Cain's an angry son of a bitch. This is what I have been told. Do you blame him? But there are, there are those who seem to, seem to believe that if they are faithful... Uh, that he will favor them and spare them uh, the wrath of his uh, claws and fangs. You think that's true? I think there's a measure of truth to it. I think he's an individual first, no matter how old his age. There are still okay. conflicting stories about uh, him and his role with Lilith, as well as... Uh, his time with his childer uh, and the second city and so on and so forth. Who's Lilith? Uh, Lilith is a complicated figure, but uh, in most apocrypha, she is uh, perhaps the first demon. Uh, some indicate that she is the creator of magics and taught Cain how to master his blood and his curse. I don't know if I exactly believe that. That's more, I think, Bahari propaganda. The followers of Lilith, if you don't know the, the name. Uh, I had, was not familiar with that term. Wow. Okay. Yeah, we, uh, we don't get into a lot of philosophy here. We typically just handle the night-to-night shoes oh well that's a shame no, especially given you've got two bruja in your midst what is what, what, what does that mean <laughs> well i i know you understand bruja as the the angry uh, uh uh hulk smash type that go through and are constantly trying to keep themselves in check but once upon a time they were known as quite the philosophizers in fact, that was what they were preferred to be known as. So at that point, Henry, Henry's just going to start laughing. It just like, this is, no, I, I, no Bruja I have ever met that you could equate with the philosopher. Uh, Benjamin is probably uh, the calmest Bruja I have ever met, uh, but you would not want to get on his bad side. Uh, it's uh, not true. Bruja and philosopher? No, it's it, I, hmm. it, I. I do not have never heard this. No, well, that's a that's a shame. I, I would, of course, keep that uh, particular bit of laughter to yourself. Should you find yourself in the presence of Theo Bell, he might take offense to it, and you might not last very long. If that's the case, in the presence of who? Theo Bell. I, I do not know his name. I'm not surprised. Oh, okay. Well, I'll, I'll be careful when when, when Gerard not, Philippe shows up as well. Then I'm uh, not sure I'm familiar either. I guess he's a big wig in kindred history somewhere. 
Uh, he's a former Archon and was one of the reasons why most of the Bruja joined the Anarchs. Oh. Oh. So you could say he's kind of important. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Well. Uh, Reverend, do you know anything about uh, different morality paths? No, oh, you're talking about paths of enlightenment. I, I sure, yes. I sure do. I what, touched what? on that a, a bit here and there. Ooh, ooh. Uh, what, what, what paths do you do uh, you know? That might be a conversation for another time. Given that some of them can be touchy. Okay. So, Reverend, you and I may need to have a conversation later. Uh, the Maris was supposed to be talking to me about paths, but. She is not speaking a language I understand at the point. Um, so uh, maybe I don't know. It's not that they do not trust you. I do not know you. And you are this unknown entity. So I would like to speak to you maybe again later. I, I don't see uh, I don't see no problem with that. I'm in town for a couple nights anyway. So. Oh, OK. So you're not the permanent fixture within Oregon. I like I said, I travel I, I travel highways and byways preaching God's word. I go where his will wills it. Okay. Well that's great. And it's good timing if you know uh ghost and wraith stuff, because yeah, I guess that's what we're going for tonight then, if we're gonna try to get that coin. Seems like a good Opportunity. Well, other things are a little quieter. Nice segue. So you said uh, you're looking for a coin. I'm not exactly a coin aficionado. So what does this have to do with spirits? Uh, it's a fetter for the uh, individual wraith that we were discussing earlier. Oh, I see. Well, that might be something I can I, I could help with a little bit, with your y'all's permission, of course. Well, I figured we'd just get in there, find the coin collection, and then um, abscond read with it, ask for auras? forgiveness later. Read read auras and figure out which one it was. But uh, I mean, abs absconding would probably be part of the evening. <laughs> Unless we could uh, purchase it legitimately, because it will depend on who who we're dealing with. That's a good point. That's a good point. Well, why, well, why don't you uh, uh, find out where this is at, and uh, I guess we'll go from there. What uh, w was this supposed to be? This Yates, uh, like. The fetter he uses, or who's no, the fetter? No, it's Alice's. For? It's Alice's fetter. Ah, oh, Alice. Apparently, uh, so it's in the possession of somebody that's uh, apparently bad news, and um, if she can basically be in possession of her own fetter, then that's a lot more safe for her. Right. Yeah, they can apparently use those as like safe places, houses, recharge things or whatever right it's it, it kind of works out in the same metaphysical sense as the bad stereotype we have in coffins gotcha yeah well uh once i get word back from my guy then we'll we'll at least have something as far as that address goes uh what, what was that address let me try the googles uh, i will Read him the address. Okay. Can I? What What should I roll? To if any, type in an address into Google Maps. Yes. <laughs> you realize if I, I, mean... I make you roll and you fail it, you actually failed typing an address <laughs> into the Google bar. Yes. Jerome, there are there are some people in this group that would not be able to manage that. Never tell me the odds. Yeah. I know. Never tell yeah. Me the odds. yeah. And I wasn't. I I was speaking in you know in character. Yeah, I mean, uh, I I'm not going to make you roll for that, Davey. Your character is sufficiently versed 
with modern technology that you would not botch that. Nice! Yeah. Henri might have a problem with that. I yeah. have the Trudy modern also. Theory. Yes. <laughs> Trudy That's also both, doesn't both know how to Google well, yeah. Maps. Oh, you guys, you guys need to buy the modern merit. Then. <laughs> <laughs> So what what comes Trudy up? People for that. It just I yeah. mean it just comes up with an address in in Ashland is all. Yeah, uh, you hit, house. You building. hit Street View and it's yeah. a nice house. So if I put the address in, not in Google Maps but in Google News, does anything come up? Nope. Mm. Okay, so one story, two story, three story house. Just one story. One story house, okay. And would this be in the nice area of town or would this yes, be in is. a ooh, fancy house? They have okay. one stories in the nice part of town? Yes, they do. Uh, I know, right. shock, huh? Is it the size of a football stadium? <laughs> oh yeah, what's the size? Yeah. Yeah, oh I, I forgot, you know, it's 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 a hundred yards all the way around. So no. <laughs> wow. <laughs> It's a, it's a six thousand square foot house, single story. Like, holy, okay. it's impressive. <laughs> it's a rat maze. All right, maybe maybe the guy that lives there is in a wheelchair. He can't go stairs. Any uh, any security features that I can see from uh, the street view? Uh, like outside cameras of, uh, outside of the sign that says "guarded by uh, ADT." Oh, so it is guarded by ADT. Mm. <laughs> Are you? You're how, scared how of a little close, ADT? <laughs> how yeah. close are the neighbors? Yeah, uh, the, the neighborhood. Hold on a second. <laughs> Does it have a sign for beware of dog? Because <laughs> that's important. We'll just take Dookie. There you go. Who's Dookie? Speaking of ADT, my <laughs> dog. That's right. Dog. Remus still has some stuff to get caught up on. Oh yeah, Poopsie. Yeah, Lily, Lily, Poop. Lily stole the dog. Yeah. Poopsie and that's, Dookie that can, can be best friends. And then she died, and Ben inherited the dog. Yep. That's what happens. You know, I mean, that, the, that, that's not that surprising. I'm, I was more just like, like we have a dog, and you named it Dookie. That's the part that doesn't seem believable. <laughs> Inherited Jerome. the name. Do, Jerome. Like diminutive name. form of Duke. You know, when you hear it's something like, named, he, like you should automatically go, oh yeah, Jerome named it. Right. Oh. <laughs> What's wrong with it? <laughs> kind of like that, poopsie. They're just really <laughs> big Green Day fans, or, guys. Or <laughs> DJ. Hippopotamus. 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 DJ Hippopotamus. Hippopotamus. He could have called you the rhyme nostrils. Yep. Ooh. I like rhyme <laughs> That one's because good. My, because my rhymes are bottomless. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> <laughs> you two are just on a roll. <laughs> so uh, the neighbors are pretty close. Um, but the property is, uh, I mean, the property is kind of wide ish. Uh, and it does go, uh, it does, it like sits at a, uh, I'm not going to announce this address that I'm going to use here. Um, I'm, cause I'm sure people would like their privacy. You want to just send oh, sure. some class? Yes. Hey. Uh, but you can look that up in Google Maps <laughs> all privacy? you want. Uh, I would like a privacy. You don't. How many? How many would you like? I would like two privacies, please. No. Roll for it. Only one. Look you can't me. afford I know privacy. privacy. No. <laughs> so if that's the address, go ahead and look at it. Kibitz. Are you sharing this address to the uh, technology, technologically uh, disinclined? Uh, <laughs> I will leave that up to you to decide. I'm just stating that How the about... address was provided. You can take a look at it from there. Oh, okay. We'll just show you. Yeah. Otherwise, Henri will have us in, in Iceland. Yeah, just show me what you're looking at. That's all I ask. <laughs> okay. Does this room have a projector? 
I mean, it looks no. like just a normal. Aww. No, just a just a meeting room. Normal house. Well, shoot. Stuff like that yeah. would have to be brought in uh, spe uh, special order, like yeah, talking to the staff like ahead average, of time and whatnot. So, average blue collar neighborhood. Yeah. This house is uh is is am I looking at this right? Is it surrounded by the trees? That's what I'm looking at. It's a two car yep. garage. Mm-hmm. Uh, Johnny, you mentioned security. So, would it be, like have the damn cameras? Uh, I cannot see cameras from this view. Let me um, see if I can. It find might a be. View. It might be more like um, motion sensor. Mm -hmm. I do not need to worry about the. Well, do I need to worry about the motion sensor? You do need to worry about motion sensor. I know. Well, the cameras. Can see me, but can the motion sensor? Oh, no, 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 get back there. Yeah, good yes. question. Yes, they can. Trust me. Yeah. In obfuscate? Yeah. Oh. Huh. Yeah, because huh. I see. I don't see any cameras, but I see the 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 lights, the motion sensor lights on the garage. And I can't see the front. So you're you're talking about the motion sensors. I know obfuscate. Mm -hmm does not work well with uh, the cameras. That's why I say the damn cameras, but- Yeah, there's uh, no cameras. But you say is this, is this motion sensor, does it have a camera? No, it's just a sensor. So it senses movement. So if I am invisible, I, there is no movement. Right. Is there a way to test this? We can get, we can buy. We can- I don't know, just, does anybody here have? Is there a motion sensor on the cell phone? No. You can it sense. Uh, How about you yeah. go to a random neighborhood and you just kind of walk down the sidewalk, and if anybody's lights just kind of pop on as you walk by, you'll know it caught you. Oh, I, I, I was talking about planning for now. I, it, is there a? Does this hotel have a motion sensor? I can check. Does it have, um, oh my God, the sliding doors? Probably if it's, if it's, I mean, that's what these kind of security systems are. They're, you know, once they, you put the code in and if you don't turn the code off, if within a certain time after opening a door or the alarm will go off and they will call the residents and if they don't answer or if they do answer saying no we didn't open the door then the police are going to show up if they don't answer the police are going to show up okay so, so, so the doors and it'd the be best to try to find out what the code is or you have a code breaker or you guys have a code breaker we do but she's not available or so maybe you should that. wait until you have your code breaker. Yeah. <clears throat> Might be sound. I guess we could do like a drive-by. Wouldn't hurt to case it. Yeah. And take I, lots of notes. I think that would be good if we can find out who owns the place first. or who's And then there. you can test the theory on whether or not Henri can be sensed. But even but you brought up a good point, Danny. Even if I cannot be sensed, if the if the door is booby trapped, I, I go uh, it, it will not see me. I could I go open the open the door, it will set off the alarm. And and it would it would also be a good idea. I mean, because like something that I do when I go hunting is that I I establish a routine. I get to know the person's routine so that I know where that person is at any given time. So I know when I'm able to go in and snatch him with the least amount of damage to myself. So knowing this person's routine, we would like to get in and get out while the person is not there. Less okay, I mean, chance of them 
triggering the alarm because a lot of times they will have panic triggers on their phones or in, in other rooms. And all they have to do is just hit it once and we're screwed. It was so much easier when you could just go into the house and just break the door open and then just, just enter on your own free will. And if the guy doesn't leave at night, then we've got to arrange a reason for him to leave. Yeah. Good work. She Did looks over at Sophie yeah, and just good. smiles at her. Um, Shelly, are you able to see Todd? Yes. Okay, because there's a couple times you've been talking over him, so. Oh. And I've been seeing your connection kind of dip, so I'm just trying making sure everybody can see each other. Oh, okay. Yeah, my, yeah. My I might not have heard him. Sorry, Todd. It's okay. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I was I was trying to catch up on my notes. Uh, what in what context was Sophie brought up? Well, yeah. Well, she looks over at Sophie because she says that he would need a reason to to leave the premises and that's when she looks over at Sophie and smiles. I can I can be very distracting. How about oh, how about we yes. find out who this guy is first? Because um mm -hmm. you know you might not be his type. Well we know he collects coins. I suppose I mean he could be blind. <laughs> oh, um, you never know. Uh, I mean could also not be into ladies. I think, I think, I think the casing the joint is a good idea. I think it'll also give us the opportunity to. Uh, Sophie, you can see auras, right? Can you see protections as well? I mean, if they're like magical, yeah. So then that shows yeah. up, yeah. Because I mean, what 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 are the chances that this person is? The reason they have this coin is because they know that it's got some sort of spiritual anchor to it. It's always an option. I mean, yeah. it's always worth accounting for. Yeah, I, I think <clears throat> casing the joint and knowing what we have to deal with is definitely the best idea, not just in terms of the regular security we can expect, but also we don't need you speaking in Gaelic um, from going into, be, yeah, from like, that you would know, be really your, something. Yeah, from yeah. you doing your out of body thing. Benjamin, it. it you are good with the the investigation. Is this something that you can do to uh, to tippy type and look up to, to get to uh, research him, uh, what what he is into and about him to see if he is even part of our universe or world? Or is I mean, that's that's what my guy's doing right now to get everything he can on the address and who lives there. Is anything that uh, the police Ashlyn has got? He's got those resources available so we'll know it just takes him a little time and you know he's not always at the office so and you a little get a bit. text nope oh, it's big the devil it pulls out the pulls out the phone takes oh. a look okay so it's just it, it's it's pretty short it's a picture of a puerto rican man uh like a polo shirt and and uh some slacks <clears throat> looks like he's on a golf course somewhere you know during the day when the picture was taken uh, says uh, his name is Liam Mercado. Uh, he's a he is a collector of things. He doesn't know specifically. He just says collector of things. Uh, has has uh, he's been a resident of Ashland now for about twelve years, and he. Um, uh, is a quote unquote an art snob. Oh, and she looks oh. at Sophie once again he, and smiles. He is Sophie's type. Mm. <laughs> and goes ahead and he and he relays that out loud. So everything that was said, sure, everyone knows. Can I look this guy up to see if he's on Facebook? Do we, do we have a picture? How old is he? Uh, he looks to be in his early thirties. Mm, young, okay. Uh -oh. uh, yeah, I'm with the dog. Uh oh. <laughs> do like I want to look this guy up on Facebook. Can we get like a? Does he have a profile? Like, can we kind of see what his activity uh, is? You can type his name in on Facebook, and all you see is a picture. Just a picture. There's yep. no. 
profile no his profile is set to private with friends only. Right. Um is there any kind of a show or um like a like an antique show or an art show or some kind of a event going on for soon? Where he may not not any his time soon. or look for something. Yeah, not not anytime soon. Jerome, could I? So he he's got his Facebook thing set to private. Would it be possible for me to send this information over to Liam and see if he can use his computer you mean power, Liam? Yeah, my Liam. You're 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 sending <laughs> Liam's info to Liam. To Liam. To get Liam's Wait. profile. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, but the, it, this isn't the same Liam, right? right? I know. Right. Okay. That, that's I was why like, I'm saying that. would be yeah. really okay. funny. <laughs> yeah. Because on, honestly, the joke, like, I was going to make this, I was like, was it, would it be funny if it was just my house? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. Yeah, so, no, that would yeah, be yeah, pretty yeah, easy yeah. operation. Yeah. Just ask him. Yeah. And so, yeah. No, so I'm sending, I'm sending this to my Liam. He's my, yeah. he's my number one boy, my sometime boy. <laughs> sometime boy. He's my sweet cheats, my sunshine boy. Oh my! <laughs> oh my! Sending it to Liam. See, it's how we're gonna get cracking. New York City. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> New York City. <laughs> what do you mean? This is how we speak in Tucson, Arizona. Arizona. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, you sent it over to Liam. Uh, he said uh, he sends a message back that. He, I mean, he could still work on it, but his powers don't work that way. He'd actually have to touch the server that the that that uh, profile was on, and he has no idea where the server is at. Well, that's uh, annoying. Well, we we have to find uh, Zuckerberg. <laughs> we need to find the internet. <laughs> Here it is. Uh, <laughs> <the internet>. Um. <laughs> That's just down the road, about a half a mile. Well, um, would you like me to go scope it out? Uh, let's let's drive by. No, let's drive by first. Okay. You can you can take a look at it with your eyes, and then. <laughs> Sophie, I, 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 I worry about not, especially after what's happened to Damaris. I worry about the both of you. You're so very quick to make those kind of jaunts, and we're very quickly learning that you know you are our leader. If you come back speaking French, that would be fine. Oh yeah, Henri actually, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Never mind. Go ahead, jump away. Are you are you saying speaking French is a curse? I am saying that. You no, know, that's quite I, a blessing indeed. I I am saying that if uh, and this is not the first time when you know you you've taken this route and you've been uh, zonked out for a no, good that's, amount of time. That's true. You you I mean, are. It's a skill. No, it. it it, it is a useful one, but if we can it's vulnerable, if, just like yeah. any other skill. And I, I don't, I don't want you to feel like it's not as important as it is. It's more if we can go and you can tell using aspects that this place is magically warded, it will save us uh, having to take you to the nerd to the geek squad to try to get you speaking our language again. Does anybody it's else know the, the aspects? I. Do. <laughs> I, I don't have it high enough. Can 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 I interject here? Um, speaking from experience, I think that if this entire group suddenly shows up in this type of a neighborhood, it's going to look suspicious. So I don't think all of us need to go. I think relevant people should go. Henri being one of them because he says he can disappear and we need to um, test 
the theory on whether or not the motion sensors can pick him up. And um, we need somebody with this Auspex thing. I don't know what it does, but we need somebody with this Auspex thing. It's a and psychic, we need, psychic ability. And we need somebody who knows how to case the place. All right. Henri, Sophie, Danny, and Ben. Well, does does and these, it's like Redemus was saying? Do we need to have Sophie come? Who else? Who else knows aspects? I, I can know, see auras. I, I don't have it high enough. I mean, if you can read auras, that's what I would be doing. So, okay. This is so. Also, oh. Here's the thing. So he, so this Liam, he's either going to be home right now, which is a good chance because it seems like he's human and it's nighttime right now, unless he's out like partying or something. Seems like he's got money. Uh, so he's either going to be home and it's going to be weird that we're just arriving, whoever it is, or he's not going to be there and then we try to break in. So if he's there, what's the plan? Do we talk to him? We don't break him? in. Okay. Yeah, you know, why not just park like a house or so down, walk over to it, and then you guys can give it a look see. Henri, you yeah. can you can hide people, right? Again, I can bring others with me. So oh. uh, you can like really much the same, uh park close by. I obfuscate a group, we walk up. Um and I have I do not remember who I've who I've taught sign language to. Uh is I uh, I can there are simple basics of, uh, you know, look, you, right. you, you know. Uh, Several of us did uh, learn that, learn basic stuff. Real quick, out of character, Jerome, mm -hmm. when, when I obfuscate a group, we, I, I can allow us to see each other, correct? Yeah. Okay, just making sure. So, so just That's as a reminder, when, 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 <laughs> when we were obfuscated, and then you. <laughs> yeah, nobody do not speak. You you have to use the symbols and and uh, the, the sign language mm -hmm. as much as possible. Uh, but if you make a sound, it could uh, it could pop all of us out of right. the obfuscated form. So, do we have to stay all together <laughs> to stay under this this obfuscation? I have to be able to see you. I have to be able to see us. So don't go okay. too far. Correct. Okay. So. We are going to have to, no, I'm going to advise that we take this slow and we cover all our bases, we dot our I's and we cross our T's so that we can pull this off simple and neat and not make it messy. Assuming that we do the heist route, which it can be I'm done. not opposed to. And it can remember. be done. If if he if he's not that much of a night guy, then we just come up with a reason that he cannot resist to leave. And we go in with our hacker. She hacks the security system. We go in. Person with this magical sight looks for the coin. We grab the coin and we leave. It's done. Nobody knows we were there. Baron, um, you, you you brought up a very good point. Is it for sale? Anything's for sale, especially with the pretty lady. Mm. Does does? Oh no! Yeah, does your ghost friend know what it looks like? I mean, does he have a, a, a visual that? Jerome, that did way he we give can... me any information about what it looks like? Yeah. Oh, he did. Maybe... I was operating on the uh, no. No, yeah, maybe he, he, you. He, he was. He gave. He gave you a rough um, uh, uh, idea of what it looks like. It's. It's. It's a. Uh, and, um, it's what. What are those uh, buffalo nickels? I think that's what they're called. Yep. M maybe you could. Um... So have a gear. Uh, nineteen thirty-seven. Oh. Okay. Wow. So maybe you could have one of your people contact him and see if he has a price. 
Is I mean, it, if uh, you're willing, if you're willing to shell out the money, if you're not, then we heist it. Is this buffalo nickel? Is it uh, is it expensive? I mean, uh, a nickel that's only five cents, correct? I mean, this guy's it a collector. Depends on the age. He's a collector of rare things, so it's, um, it's going to be probably worth something. Right. Google is showing between anywhere between fifteen dollars and. Fifteen hundred dollars, and there is even one um, for sixty-five thousand dollars on eBay. Mm. Yeah, it all depends on the, what it is. If it has a D three leg and all that kind of thing. So either we can talk to the guy and buy it from him, trade him something else that he'd want for the coin, or we just somehow convince him to just give the thing to us. Anybody we... have? Anybody have dominate? Well, if you guys are good with persuading, dominate would be the fastest way of persuading someone. And no, dominate looks. is not persuasion. No, dominate <laughs> is taking over their mind. Yeah. Uh, I I I still think let's you know we we can choose the route once we know what we're dealing with. Sure. Once we see the once we see the place. Once we get an idea of the security, you know, once we have some more information, then we can decide if it's worth it to swipe it just because, uh, yeah, I think, you know, depend depending, yeah, like money might be the path of least resistance, but, you know, let's, uh, let's figure out what this is. Cause, uh, yeah, if it's, if it's a $65,000 thing, uh, yeah, um, okay. I would, I would, I would vote just to steal it. Um, yeah. We should have. I do. We have anybody who can watch the place, or I should say, should can watch him during the day and record his habits, his schedule. Possible. If we want to get information quickly, like tonight, uh, we just one of us drives while well, then two of us in the car kind of look at the house when we drive by to see if we can see any weird magical stuff in the house if there isn't then i figure baron's good to try her trick go in scope out the place and see what's going on see if the guy's even there if he is and if he's a jerk we can go up to him and put the wooge on him convince them that uh, we need that coin for some reason. It was so much easier just killing people. It, it just, mm, no. No, that was easier, I'm saying. I'm not saying that we it's have not to. nearly as rewarding, I think. No. It's a battle of wits, Henri. So wanna... about that conversation you wanted to have about Paz, it wouldn't be because you're struggling with humanity now, would it? Mm-hmm. Yes, I'm the, the the Baron and the others here have have given me a new appreciation on the the, uh, the, the worth of the humans. Uh, but yeah, I struggle with humanity. Well, should we head out? Yeah, who wants to drive while the Baron and I take a look at the place while we're zooming by? I'll drive. I thought, I th Do you want me to come um, along and uh, to jump out to see if the motion sensors trigger or no? Do you think it would be wise for some of us to stay yeah. here? And I, because I thought that was it. We weren't going to take everybody. Because yeah, I nuts. thought we decided uh, that it was going to be me, Honoré, and Ben. If if the rest of you are going to go, then I'll stay back. Because all of us showing up in that type of neighborhood is going to be noticeable. <laughs> right. Yeah, I'm thinking just one car, two or three of us. Uh, I can see auras. The Baron can see auras. We need somebody to drive. Again, we just drive by. She and I look at it. Uh, one of us is going to catch if there's anything weird about the house. And if there is, then we plan a next step. We know that we can't just have the Baron do her thing going in the house. We then got to figure out if we want to just go up to the house, see if he's there, have a talk with him, see what's going on. 
or something else. Yeah. That's my the thought. other car a street away. No, I don't I don't need to go. I'll stay here. So let's decide who's gonna go so we can get the scene going. Yeah, Danny's gonna stay. She's okay. not gonna go. I'll go along. Um just so but the plan is just to drop me off at some point so I can walk by and then I'll you'll pick me up somewhere else. Okay. I too. And Ben will go. I'll I'll stay behind. The, okay. only, the only thing I bring to it is uh, looking fancy enough to be in that neighborhood. It'd be cool. And money. money. It's not even a really fancy neighborhood. I mean, <laughs> is it not in a fancy neighborhood? It's a nice neighborhood, no, it's, yes. It's a, it's, a, it's a blue collar. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Then I'm not going to say that. Pops my grape mm. upon, puts in yeah. some caviar. Yeah. <laughs> we won't yeah, Shelly's son laughs at you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I meet myself. We don't we don't want to bring Danny so she can take a look at the uh, security aspect. Uh I thought Danny, that was a good idea. Danny, do you want to drive and I'll hang back? And you can be hidden by Henri. I don't care. All right, good. Danny will drive. Ben will go. Baron Sophie will go. Henri will go. Um, Remus oh. and I will stay behind. And I have a business proposition for you, Remus. I don't know. I don't know if we need to have the Baron come along because we've got Ben. I could stay. Oh, okay. Great. <laughs> Good, good, good. Okay. Um, if it looks like it checks out, um, call me, right. and I'll take a little. I'll zip up there. That works. Okay. okay. So you've got it decided. Room is zoom zoom. You guys go out to whose car to go drive? I'm not gonna. It, well, you... probably mine. The, right. The, Just um, he's driving. Yeah. Okay. The jeep. Oh, ragtop? And, and and no, and she does not talk to Ben the entire time. Uh, she talks does, to Henri. Does, does, does it have a <laughs> hammy in it? Is it a ragtop? Does it have a... No. Oh, hem. Okay. Does it have a hemi? A hemi. Is it that the is... 6.7 or the 5.7? It's a grand. Oh, okay, okay. Jeep That's a grand, grand Cherokee. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, Jeep Grand Am. <laughs> yeah. I have a I have a grand dam. So when you said it was a grand, I was like, oh yeah, grand dam. It's a twenty. It's a twenty twenty. <laughs> Ooh, fancy. So this is actually a small house. It's only twelve hundred square feet. Mm -hmm. So those of you who are driving, uh, you drop Henri off. Uh, some so, uh, who is so who is it's Henri. Danny and Ben, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Henri is dropped off. Danny is driving, and Ben, you're. I am uh, driving uh, yeah. past the home. Make your auspex check. Right. Okay. So will you spend a point of willpower? Yeah. Well, actually, will, Danny, actually, Danny, Danny will stop at in front of the house. You know, she'll pull over, and she's gonna, she's gonna act like she's trying to find something in her console. Which gives Ben the opportunity to do his thing. Okay. Nice. With the will spend uh, two successes. Woohoo! Okay. So when you look at the house, uh, the house is giving off a faint aura, uh, like all houses would that have electricity in them. Keep in mind that Auspex is patterned off of Carillion cameras, and Carillion right. cameras just pick up uh, ambient energy and supposedly, like, the auras are, you know, <clears throat> give off or supposed to be, like, different types of emotions or stress or so on and so forth. So okay. you pick up just kind of a pale bluish halo around the, around the building, which is, you know, standard for homes like this. Right. Uh, and no uh, magical sparklies, no. anything weird like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, Ben will be looking for a few seconds. Like, nah, it's just 
There's power in the house, electricity, but nothing supernatural I'm seeing. Okay. He's doing like good. A... <laughs> <laughs> after after that, um, Ben looks around to see if he can see um, Henri, or has Henri already gone obfuscate? So we would have oh, had yeah, a, already has. Yeah, I've already left the car. But we would have had a pre-designated place where you're supposed to pick me up. Okay. Okay. So then looking around, like, sure. okay, good. Don't see him. So when I walk All by right. the house, Jerome, and like, mm -hmm. I like walk on the driveway where those, where those sensors are pointing. Um, the lights come on at all, or yep, click. Okay. What is and that I... noise? Dice. Oh, That's oh. these nuts! It just was. It was just a really interesting, <laughs> no, interesting I, sound. I forgot to mute myself. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right. So when I trigger the lights, I know. Okay, well, it sees me on lights. So I go catch up to the meeting point, and I'm like. Do, so you jog down the street a little ways where they happen to be waiting around the corner because it kind of the street itself goes down and snakes around a corner. And that's where they stopped over on that side out of view from the house. Okay. So I jump in. I'm like, yes, well, I, I, I walked up and moved around and the, uh, the lights came on. All right. It's cameras, technology. That's going to see through your thing. Now we know. So, yeah, yeah, I knew I knew the, the cameras could see me. I just didn't know if these uh, these these motion sensors, as you call them, would were, were able to see me or not. Okay. Well, let's head our way back. I'll go ahead and text the Baron. At, at ben, as you pull your phone up, it says, yeah. "And no, it is half the battle." <laughs> GI huh. Joe. GI Joe. That's wow. Okay. Yeah, did no, did a. No. Uh, did like a message come through or something or it's just that no no it just it, it played that like you would you would have heard at the end of any 80s cartoon the the announcer <laughs> letting you know that you know now you know and knowing it's half the battle oh okay huh well anyway he's gonna go ahead then and uh text the baron uh and say uh uh no magic mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. sensors can see our friend. Uh, I think it's clear for you. Okay, so Sophie, you get a text, and the text, and the de when the text comes through, you hear beefy. Mm -hmm. Who put that on my phone? <laughs> um, okay, so when she gets the message, she's yeah. going to turn to the guys and say. Ben says, it looks clear. Um, watch my body. Will do. Okay. And I just... <laughs> Johnny's all like, I already <laughs> have been. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing check new. and check. <laughs> he's going um, to do that in front of a priest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That would be ballsy. It's like what, it's what a very you, nice body. Oh, sorry. What are you doing over there, Jeff? No. <laughs> yeah. Forgive me, Father. I'm currently sinning. <laughs> yeah. yeah I know. Or or like. I when... mean, he did want to talk to him about confession later. Yep. <laughs> or, or, like he hasn't done or like Boondock Saints when uh when Rocco when they they went into the strip club to take out those other mafia oh, demons. And so there, the, this one stripper passed out, and they're like looking around, admiring their handiwork, like, "Wow, like we did this, this." Like, and then Rocco comes over and starts copping a feel on on, uh, uh, on the passed out stripper. And so they both pause because he's not paying attention. They yell at him. They go, "What do you think you're doing?" And so he jerks his hand back real quick. He says, "I'll dip her." <laughs> <laughs> that makes it better. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I'll give her a tip. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm just spending a will, and okay. I will make sure I'm sitting down. Sure. And I will zip over to that address. Okay, have you rolled? I don't need to roll. Oh, that's right, that's right. Never mind. I don't need to roll. Wow. <laughs> Fancy. <clears throat> She's all hair flip. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so within a blink of an eye, 
you zip on over to that particular location at just in time to see the motion lights go back out. Okay, uh, and just to be sure, I'm going to do aura perception again. Go ahead. Fine. Don't believe Ben. Gee. <laughs> Four successes. Nice. Okay. You see the same thing? House looks like it's got electricity. Okay. Nothing sparkly uh, or out of the ordinary like magic or anything. And I you're, can't you're not see... seeing anything obfuscated or anything of that nature. I can't see through walls, right? That is correct. So I can't tell if there's anybody inside. You would have to physically pass through it. Okay. I will uh, pop in through a, a window. Okay. So I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. I'll pop no. inside. Yeah. So you slide on into the place. Uh, step. I mean, since you're not physically manifested, don't you? Unless somebody is looking for you through like Auspex or something, they can't see you. Um, <clears throat> so you slide into the living room, uh, and you hear ba ba da ba 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 da ba ba da, and you see and you see the guy, you know, picture wise that you identify as Liam. You know, he's got his, he's got his, uh, a couch kind of laid out with the, the footrest kind of stretched out. He's actually dressed uh, a bit like uh, Indiana Jones himself. Uh, his shirt, however, is is much more open than need to be. Uh, he is uh, very hot uh, and sweaty. He's got a hat that's been, looks like he may have been wearing it and it's tipped off on the floor. And you see a woman come walking back out who is uh, wearing a shirt that could be like Marion. And that's it. They're not watching the movie. <laughs> aren't, you glad we made, aren't you glad we made you wait? So you did a role play, baby. Yeah, exactly. And so she, you know, she, she comes, she comes walking back out and he, he takes, you know, he takes his whip and actually cracks and he's actually pretty accurate. He cracks the whip with it. And she like, you know, freaks out and you, you see that she gets down subserviently and whatnot. Uh, and he's, he, without going into too much detail, uh, it is clear that they are role playing a, an Indiana Jones, Marianne. Yeah, as soon as thing, Sophie but understands what's going on, it's she's way going to it's way too move, rough. She's mm -hmm. going to move out of the room. Yeah, elsewhere. Sure, sure. But yeah, he is clearly uh, preoccupied with his time. The music, uh, you know, and the the movie itself playing in the background, you know, as they're as they're doing it, and as you are moving away, it, it's all it's like he's going through the motions of the encounter with her. But his eyes are just actually on the television, so it's just really just kind of. Oh, so kind the movie of is on. Yeah, the movie is on. Okay. This is some I Patrick mean... Bateman stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. The things that Sophie has to go through. Poor Sophie. You know what? Uh, there's worse that I haven't had to be there for, so mm -hmm. uh, I will be thankful. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna. Um, um, I'll do a quick, like, survey of the room. <clears throat> like, maybe he has um, display cases or something. You do find I display cases, but not out dig. here. Not out here in the living room. Uh, right. You do I'm find uh, one of the bedrooms has been converted uh, to, like, his trophy room, you know, of his, what, what are very clearly his prize collections. Uh, he's got several uh, cases up on the wall of like different coins. He's got, um, he, you know, he has some, like he has some movie pieces that are that are uh, up on the wall. He's got, you know, a, another wall where he looks like he started an autograph collection. You know, it looks like he, you know, he is a. I mean, coins do seem to be his thing, but. He's into a lot of other secondary collections as well. Coins, movie posters, autographs, anything else? Uh, well, the the not movie posters, uh, items from movies. 
Oh, like movie props? Yes. Maybe he'd want something from Trudy's studio. Um, actually, now that I'm now that we're thinking out loud, um, Sophie, I need you to give me a self control check. Oh no! Oh, it's the shoes! It's the shoes! <laughs> Uh, that signed Harrison Ford 8x10 glossy <laughs> <laughs> it calls to us all it's the dress from breakfast at Tiffany's 3 nice okay Ooh, wow. so as you were going around you had to get a closer look at pretty much everything because obviously you're looking for a coin and that's going to be smaller but as you're looking around you, you just can't help yourself you just look it's like wow this guy's got some great stuff and that's when you pause and you look and you go that can't be what i think it is and you look again you're like no <laughs> and because you are who you are and you know art at least in you know overall and maybe not like uh um maybe not like all art in particular, but you still have a fine eye, a trained eye, and you can see when something looks... I do looks... have a fine eye. I yeah. have two fine eyes. You have two fine eyes. <laughs> nice. Nar, me fine eye. Um, <laughs> uh, you end up seeing Duncan McLeod's katana. No! Oh. Wow! Whoa, this dude's a nerd. <laughs> he really is. I thought he was more of an art snob as like... Don't come McLeod at a cloud. classy oh. stuff, but no, this is cool stuff. You know, it's possible that more of his stuff goes missing than just the coin. We'll just throw <laughs> it out there. I mean, that would, that would certainly help mask uh, mask saying. like our intentions when we when we rob yeah. him. This is true. I mean, but it, it does it does have like it, it's set up on the wall uh, in its own case, and in the case it actually has like a, a, a um like a card that goes with it from somebody in an art show that authenticated it as an actual prop uh, from the Duncan Cl uh, from the Highlander TV series. Does he have anything from Lord of the Rings? <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to use Aura Perception again to see if I can find the coin quickly. Sure. Go right on ahead. Three. Three, okay. Uh, you do find it. Uh, it's actually, when you use your auspect, your auspects at that point, it's it easy to find it on the uh, on the wall of coins that he's got, because uh, it's the only one that, that glows. However, when you do that, you see that there are two other glowing shapes nearby it. What are they? Uh, dis the sword, disembodied huh? looking shapes that could be reminiscent of human. Ah. Oh, the ghouls are here. Oh, oh wait, um, can <clears throat> I? I can't. I can't tell. Like if they're if they've noticed me, can I? No. Um, but you've been in the room now for a hot minute at this point because you got sucked into looking around. for thing, and yeah, you haven't seen any responses as of yet. Um. Can I read Wraith Minds? I can't remember if I've tried that. That is a great question. Since you can't remember it, it's worth a roll. I'm going to try it. Okay. Um, is it like, where are they standing or like locate? Are they located in a position that indicates like what they're maybe looking at or guarding or... Like, it's hard to say since you can't. It's hard to say since you can't make out the actual shapes. Like you, like you. It would be like seeing somebody's shadow, right? It's like you can see the shadow, but it's not and you know like they're nearby. But you can't really make out like, like they're like on either side of the doorway or right. like yeah. You you, you can't okay. you can't really tell. You can just see that they're there. You don't know. The other hard part about it is you don't know what this place looks like in the Shadowlands. So you don't know if they're in an archway or if they're in okay. the adjacent room because the wall wasn't That's there true. anymore so on and so forth um right i was gonna try eight uh 
what's the difficulty on this? Uh, what is the normal difficulty for telepathy? I'll be right back. I don't have it written down. I'm going to look that up. Telepathy. It might be like a contested. Contested? Contested. Yes, yeah, so you have to go to a convention. It's right. contested. Uh, you need to roll subterfuge. intelligence and subterfuge. Oh. Difficulty of the uh, subject's current willpower. So we're going to say it's seven. Seven. Okay. Wow. Pretty powerful. Uh, ghosty. You kind of have to be when you're a wraith. Five. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so you're like, I wonder if I can, and you go, hmm. <laughs> Suddenly you're pick you're picking up two sets of thoughts, and that's the first time, and that's very creepy. What are the surface? The initial the them? initial thoughts of like the initial thoughts are like this is a really stupid job. Why are we here? Why aren't we watching him get it on? And then you, the other thought you're picking up is, you're right. Why aren't we watching? We should be in the other room. That looks like some fun. Go check it out. No, he needs his privacy. And we're told to stay right here. Okay. Um, uh <clears throat> I think he is they are associated with him I think they work for him or they work for someone who's concerned with him um, okay I'm gonna wait so you the two other things that were glowing those were the rates right you, you can only read one mind at a time. No, but like, wait. Are you saying I'm reading two minds in one person? Mm -hmm. Oh. That's very interesting. Okay. Um, let me pop in the other one. Okay, go ahead. Six successes. Wow. Dang. Good grief. Okay. Oh, and I didn't even put my I didn't even put my specialty on that. Uh yeah, Did I? so no you didn't. So then technically eight. Yeah, Two, four, eight successes. five, six, seven, eight. Eight successes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Great success. So you drop that, you go over to the other one, and the without acting it out, the thoughts that you're getting from this individual are dark. Like the surface thoughts from the first guy were like very like no, we need to we need to do our job. But he had that dissenting voice that you know tells him that he should be doing the thing. The other the other guy, uh, the other one you're picking up from. Uh, is like uh, the 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 only uh, um, the only reason why uh, I I am not um, riding riding the woman and making her gouge her eyes out is because I can't like leave this room or something like he wants to be actively destructively a part of what's going on in a in a very dark and grim version and there's a little voice in the back in the back saying you know basically saying no we don't want to do that wow wow okay um i'm going to oh but okay so what i was asking was did i see any other objects no that have an aura okay no just the one i will back out of that room and do a quick scan of uh the rest of the house okay um can i roll for auras just sure to can. kind of keep my aura my aura light around yeah go ahead uh, 
four. Okay. So you look around. Uh, you can see that he has uh, another. He has a sword uh, that is kind of sparkly with an aura. Um, that's actually set up um, near the bar in the living room, uh, just up like resting up against the the wall or whatnot uh, to be pulled in case he needs it. You also see, um, <clears throat> uh, you see a book, uh, and it's one of those like uh, Renaissance style, you know, Irish cultural type festival books that you'd pick up. So it's like the actual like leather binding somebody's taken page inserts and you know made their so own like custom a, book illuminated manuscript essentially yeah it, it's glowing as well talus has a friend um and no other wraith like things no okay Oh, now that you're now that you're looking, you get a good look at him. He's got sparkly aura. Ooh. Ooh. That is no bueno. Okay. Um Can I get a look at the um security protocols he's got in there? Yeah, it's a it's a typical house security. You know, it's got some it has uh you know it has cameras that probably go to a cloud or a computer somewhere, uh, and it's got a key code right you know near the door. Okay. Um then I will go back to the inn. Poof. You're awake. How'd it go? Well, I have some good news and bad news. Okay. Um, are the others back yet? Uh, given how quickly uh, you got there and back, no. Okay. Um, and we were driving. Probably. probably <laughs> I mean, they'll probably be there in a couple minutes. Oh. Dang it. Um, I was going to say, rather than like, coming out of it right now like i could go to the car and like see if i could manifest there because i learned recently that that's a thing but i guess i'm already out of it okay we'll just we'll just wait till they get back okay so i, I mean it's yeah let's another... let's not make danny wreck it, it, it takes 10 minutes <laughs> you don't want to you don't want a ghost to appear in your back seat <sighs> Yeah. Hey, where are the white women at? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> where are the white women? At? Oh god. So, uh, are you guys? Yeah, uh, I mean, it only takes <clears throat> them like ten minutes to to get. It's not a. It's late at night. It, they, you know, they they didn't have to get stuck on the freeway for anything. So that's fine. <clears throat> they get, they get back to red line in. I mean, Hello. did did Johnny want to have this car, Danny? <laughs> did Johnny want to do his his uh, business pitch? Uh, while while the rest of us were out. sure sure Sophie while we're waiting. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I was thinking, what about if we start the Ashland Improvement Corporation? All right. Hear me out. We, you, you're already doing the blood bank, right? So what about if we invest in ambulances? Hmm? Okay. Uh, why specifically ambulances? They are first responders. And we want to know when something bad happens in the city. And ambulances are probably one of the first on the scene, other than cops. But we can't have. Well, I guess we could do like a security firm as well. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I, I think. Well, I mean, I, I guess it, yeah, it would kind of just depend on how much, um, 
you know, we want to, because I mean, not every ambulance call necessarily is like a something that we need to be aware of, maybe, but um, uh, could I suppose it couldn't hurt. Uh, and uh, I, I will just because uh, we we have we haven't worked together that much. I do have this uh, preference that the things that I do invest in have a have a tangible benefit not just for us but also for the people of the city that is an important thing for me so ah, okay yeah I'm, I'm trying to be as altruistic as i can with the stuff that i've got I okay. did, not, did not have it before but i wanted to put it i want to put it to good use not just for our merry band but also for the people of the city mm. I like that. I like that. Yeah, the ambulances can work on emergencies as per normal, you know, and the security firm can, you know, do like ADT does. We can set up uh, home safety uh, systems and they'll come out and check them out whenever, you know, whenever they um, go off or whatever. That sounds interesting. Yeah. The thing is, is that we need to get our, we need to get our hands like, we need to be like first to know things, right? So if we have, like, if we hear of a break in or if we hear some strange happening and they're calling an ambulance, you know, we're already ahead of the curb. Hmm. So. That was my thinking, but yeah. uh, I'm, I'm sure I know I have some money. I'm sure the Baron also has some funds and we could have probably all put our piles of money together and make it happen. Yeah, we'll 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 crunch the numbers. But um, yeah, that, that does sound interesting. Um, you know, I I floated the idea of investing in a crime scene cleanup oh uh, we can do that too yeah there there is one in ashland but um i think somebody else kind of called dibs on it but i don't remember if that's actually been uh spoken for just yet but uh yeah well uh yeah i think that that would be another good one to kind of invest in especially if we can get some cool mm -hmm. types into it that can recognize uh, supernatural you know. occurrences. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. if we can get them to learn aspects, I don't. Th I've never taught a ghoul abilities like that, but uh, if we could teach one aspects high enough that they could do the aura perception, that would also be really helpful. And us being able to, you know, know of when something supernatural is going down. When there's something strange in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Yes, yes. Now mm -hmm. we just need to wait for the Baron to wake up. Hope he wakes up. <gasps> oh, Baron, oh. you're back. So glad you're here. How much money do you have? Yeah. Welcome. Uh, sorry. Uh, we were just talking, and we were thinking of. I'm thinking of creating the Ashland Improvement Corporation. Not even what did you see or what did you scout out? It's, hey, I got a proposition for you. <laughs> yeah. Well, she already told us, so we're waiting for... <laughs> um, I suppose well, that's true. You out of care, um, not in care. Oh, that's true. Oh, yeah. That is true. Uh, but before I tell you more, well, what did you see? What did you hear? <laughs> Well, I don't know that I want to do it. Tell you twice, so let's wait till the others come. Okay. okay. So the thing we were talking about is possibly investing in ambulances, uh, security companies in Ashland, and also uh, cleanup. Yeah, crime scene cleanup. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Um, yeah. I'm assuming we would have ghouls running it, or at mm -hmm. least maybe like a ghoul at the top level. Preferably, you know, somebody somebody who is uh, is the manager of at least in the crime scene cleanup. Uh, well, I guess I don't know how ambulances work exactly, um, 
But even, I think yeah. they're like privately owned and operated. I mean, like I think they're 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 not like state operated. I think they're like private companies, but I don't know much beyond that. Who dispatches them? Do, is it a is it a hospital? Know. Like, do you have? I don't know. Well, I'd well, imagine nine one one. They would have maybe be maybe Ben dispatched. and Danny know that mm. being associated with the police. Type Ooh, stuff. Question. Uh, um, yes. No. Well, out of character question. Oh, for, for Jerome. For Jerome. Uh, would I know, since I was also in the police force for a while, how the ambulances work? Uh, most of them are private companies. Okay, and so how would they get information? Just nine one one would just send the info. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep, right. it, it's a lot like the it's a lot like tow companies. Okay. When when, when that goes in, the uh, when it goes into you know uh, whoever they're calling for their insurance, their insurance has you know tow companies in the area and they go rotational wise. Excellent. Excellent. So whoever okay. has the contract with the city at that point, when nine one one calls them, if they can service that area, they that's who they send out. Excellent. Uh, Johnny will, will relay that back to the Baron and Remus. So, yeah, it kind of works. We just need a contract from the city. Sophie knows I could, name. uh, I do know the Baron. I mean, the you Baron. Are, I, do the the Baron. Ma I know the mayor. I know the mayor. You, you know the Baron. human Baron. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am close with the mayor. I excellent. I could probably pull some strings there. Excellent, excellent. It's all coming together just as I planned. Uh, and at that point, the other three come walking back in. How yeah. was your trip? Danny comes in and plops back down in her seat. Benjamin, he sent you the, uh, the text, correct? Yeah, uh, so I, I've been and come back. Uh, I have good news and bad news. Go bad for news it. First. <clears throat> Which one do you want first? Uh, bad news first. Okay. Um, <clears throat> well, uh, so the, the dude himself uh, has a sparkly aura. Um, I didn't look too closely because he was engaged in some activity that I didn't want to look too closely at. Um, uh, he, he, sparkly aura beam. Magic. Magical. Magical aura. Was it of a violent nature or of a sexual nature? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right. Ah. Um, okay. I Please. scouted the house. Um, found several interesting objects, including the coin that we're looking for. Uh, Jerome, the sword that I saw at the bar, um, that wasn't a fennel blade, was it? Uh, could have been. I mean, I guess a, it those... was in the scabbard. Okay. Um, okay. Well. If you'd gotten a chance to look at the metal, you could have told you you would have been able to tell. Fennel swords okay. are made a specific way, even if they're not made the same shape. Okay, but I couldn't tell that through the uh, through the aura or through Correct. the scabbard. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. So I found the coin, but there are a couple of um, wraiths guarding the collection room and. Um, I got the feeling that they work for him. So he's some sort of necromancer type that can control spirits? Something, something like that. Mm. And uh, she's going to look to the uh, the reverend. Um, are you a mind reader? <laughs> I've often been accused of such. <laughs> but have you have you ever read a Wraith's mind? Uh no, no, I have not. 
it was weird. Mm, you're probably picking up on his shadow. I mean, what what is that? Well, if you understand our kind and you know that we wrestle with the beast and there are inner urges that push us on, well, the shadow is a lot like that, except it's more of a real person as opposed to a failing emotion, emotionality. Oh. So oh, if it, so if it comes out, it, it acts with malice and forth, forethought and can act as its own individual. That's very interesting. That would make sense because one of them, I mean, each of them had kind of like two consciousnesses. I, I just did a really light survey, but the first one was kind of like a shoulder angel, shoulder devil kind of thing. And the other one was, it sounds like the shadow was way stronger than the other part. Could be, could be. The other wow. thing that's a bit different is they uh, they have the ability of working in tandem to get certain things done. Sort of a greater, greater together than separate apart. Interesting. But whichever is... Thank you for the follow. Um, the uh, But whoever is in control, it causes problems for the one that's riding. So that's that's the bad news. I mean, it's also the good news. But that that's the bad news, is that uh, um, it seems like we're going to have to contend with that. <clears throat> okay well it also uh, adds to the bad news is that if this guy is magically inclined that means that he picked the coin because he knows it's magical mm -hmm. which means that uh, our option to pay him for it is going to be either not on the table or too much on the table for any of us to handle did you read Liam's mind to see like what he's all about? I didn't want to get that close um, in the moment. What was he doing? Do we need to go he had, and save somebody? He had a lady friend. Oh, he oh, was entertaining. Come on. You're an adult. You could ignore that stuff and look into his mind. <sighs> I mean, It'd be interesting. I guess that's true. I don't know. It just seemed impolite <laughs> at the time. Well, but we can't, like this. You're right. That seems a little ridiculous now in hindsight. <laughs> I mean, Sophie, the polite ghost, but, uh, uh <laughs> <laughs> but like the stuff that like, what can you give us like a, at least like, was it, cause you, you said, you said that it was both sexual and violent. Like, is do we need to rush over there and rescue whoever this person is? Um, I mean, it it didn't seem that bad. Is it consensual? I, like, yes, no. Jerome, did I get a feeling that you actually she turned was away? Okay from with it, so it? You turned away from it. Could okay. I could. I couldn't. I couldn't say for yeah. sure. What's your humanity? It was kind of hard to tell. What's your humanity? What's my oh great mm -hmm. um five okay so out of five yeah you could have watched and and probed and done whatever but you role played that you were like oh <laughs> so that's what we would nope. just to let you know your humanity would have kept you from being too super embarrassed you were just that was the impolite thing to gawk so and not really your thing so. <sighs> So, if we want to try another avenue, um, it seems like he's a big collector of, like, movie props and um, autographs and also coins. So, and if we want to stage something, give him an, um, an opportunity to, like, trade or, um, I don't know, get him out of the house or something, lure him with something like that. Maybe we could try something along those lines. 
Will those raids give us any issue? I mean, if I, because I, I've dealt with like a, a poltergeist that can like move things, physical stuff. It wasn't like super dangerous. Well, I mean, for me, but uh, could well, you tell how strong they were or anything? I, I couldn't tell. Um, I did know one of them was very dark. Um, but like Vinny can manipulate physical objects, but I have also met others that couldn't. So I'm, I don't know. I can't say. Uh, if it comes to this, how, how do we fight a ghost? I'm assuming claws uh, won't work. You'd need another ghost, right? Because they're not you would over need here. Items that, that are warded against. Uh, are there are there ghostly weapons and ghostly items? In oh, so like a sword that's warded against ghosts. <laughs> hmm. Can somebody ward Something my? Like that would work. Can somebody ward my hands? Uh, no. Uh -huh. Not unless you wanted to plop them off, treat them as uh, items, maybe do something to keep them in a static sort of way, and then you could probably put something on there, but then you'd have to work some sort of contraption that would attach them to your uh, nubs or whatever was left over. Do we have anybody who knows how to ward things? I'd imagine Damaris would be the one. What about Sansa? She was... She was in, integral in us being able to rescue Damaris, and it, a lot of that included breaking down wards. Maybe she um, knows how to build them up. You could text her. I can See text she... her. I text her. <laughs> okay. Why don't you put that in the Facebook chat so she knows you're texting her? <laughs> okay. Good. So, Reverend, what like ways do you have of dealing with wraiths other than worded things i guess is can you think of anything else uh well it depends upon your particular skill set uh, uh for me if they get a bit uppity i just command them into an atom you can do that well, that's a part of necromancy yeah <coughs> all right that's a. Mm -hmm. uh... Do we know anybody? How do you have do necromancy? That? I thought that was strictly Giovanni. <laughs> oh, forget it. <laughs> he, um, he says, uh, I, I understand the propaganda. Um, uh, no, they aren't the only ones with necromancy. Oh, kind of like the Tremere are not the only ones with blood magic. There you go. That's correct. Yeah, I don't want nothing from the Giovanni. Why not? The Giovanni are our best friends. Not mine. They spit in your breakfast? Yeah, they. what they do to you. Let's just say that I keep waking up and expecting Marlon Brando to put a severed horse head in my bed. Uh, well, that's a, a, a bit drastic. Uh... I would be curious as to how you offended him to that degree, but that's not really my business. She had a bad run-in with Giovanni. Not a big deal. Oh. Ooh. Nobody important, I hope. Who was it? She, you know, she shoots she shoots a glare at Ben. Well, we went to Trudy's place and we're just talking to to her and Malcolm. So you had a you had a bad run in with Malcolm? Wow. He's an asshole. All right. Okay. <laughs> right. Yeah. He's an asshole because you're racist. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> You're an asshole, too. I am not racist. Hey, it's not my fault. You don't understand what that even means. Sounds like a, a bigger issue. Maybe we're getting a little off topic. 
yeah, anyway. Um, it's fun, though. Being racist? No, watching this. Oh. <laughs> You've been in the sewers a while, Henri. <laughs> Is it much more entertaining than Zarathis are, so... Well, hey, uh, we've got Elias with us. I mean, if we want to try to deal with that now, he maybe can do something about those wraiths if they get uppity when we get the thing. Is that something you can do, Elias? Does your does your faith give you that kind of ability? Uh, no, my abilities with necromancy gives me that capability. My faith just reaffirms where I'm going to send him. Oh. Where, where would you send them? On a the on the quick road to hell, if necessary. Oh, I was thinking more of a an object sort of thing. But, oh well, that's um, if I want to keep them around. I mean, that's that's always oh. an option too. Some are just oh. full of uh, the the piss and vinegar, and they're just they're they're angry for angry's sake. But occasionally, you're going to run across one that's got some use. It's the same principle, uh, in a manner of speaking, um, as making a ghoul, uh, except you're not feeding them no blood. Hmm. Okay, well, um, do we, I mean, he's there. We'd have to, to tangle with the guy. Um, are we going to do this right now? It, what do you, what do you all think? Is there a we reason to try wait? something now? Uh, do we have an idea of what the security is going to be like? I mean, aside from the, the the ghosts, I I looked for uh, the the physical security, and it just looked you know typical, uh, nothing super impressive. Mm. Just because it's not impressive doesn't mean it won't work. Ooh. I'd be I'd be happy to assist you on on one condition. Is that, What's that? No, there's a, uh, a soup kitchen here in town that's been helping out the the needy. Uh, uh, as I'm sure you're aware, uh, uh, Ashland has a pretty terrible homeless problem. If you could make a sizable donation to them, I'd be happy to assist. Ooh, maybe the Ashland Improvement Corporation could make a donation. Hmm. Reverend, I think you and Remus need to have a nice long talk. Yeah, Remus is already Venmoing the money. Like <laughs> <laughs> Sophie is Sophie is thinking, does donating money to the homeless make more homeless? <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, you start seeing math equations yes. and, yeah. and, and shapes and whatnot just flying past her. And she's like, <laughs> Deep in that look of horror. If the, homeless war, if the homeless war Prada, would Sophie be less afraid of them or more afraid? Oh. This is a very interesting idea. Hmm. Instead of the devil wears Prada, the homeless wears Prada. <laughs> the hobos wear Prada. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's all and, and it's all an apocalyptic post-apocalyptic movie starring Sophie. Uh, oh gosh. She's oh, running gosh. away from all the homeless. It's like her Prada. worst her worst nightmare. <laughs> right. She's got, so confused. We got one of those no. like long sticks with the bag on it, but it's a it's a product. A bindle. Bag. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A bindle. Yeah. This is where I keep my coins. Hmm. No. <laughs> 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 Them look like French fried taters. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> no, just oh god! All right, no, we gotta we gotta move on. Uh, yeah, no, I'll. Uh, honestly, that that's something that I can definitely do. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. I, I can manage that too. I think. Well, I think Sophie, you should be there to help, like spoon the, the soup. I'm. Poison. I. Uh, I'm allergic to soup. <laughs> right. Sorry. Right. 
Uh, I'll go in your stead. Don't worry. Oh, I'll, represent you, you, I'll represent you well. <laughs> so um, that is where we're going to stop for tonight. Um, we will pick the next game up from that point uh, where everybody is uh, everybody and the Reverend Turner uh, going to uh, attempt to mission impossible, the coin away from the deviant sorcerer guy who has wraith bodyguards. Yeah. Nice. nice. So uh, thank you guys all for tuning in and checking us out and watching and actually hanging out with us a while. Um, our next game coming up tomorrow is our Marvel superheroes game, modern age heroes. <laughs> looking Let's forward go. to that uh and then next week on wednesday and thursday is cyberpunk and street fighter respectively both at 7 p.m pacific standard time uh oh, so okay. thank you for stopping with us hanging out uh chatting with us the follows the raid uh and we had a couple uh subs or resubs uh and we will catch you again next time good night guys night good night, good night.